Hello, hello everyone. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I am excited today because I'm going to be trying to answer the question, should you master set Pokemon Go, the latest set in the English TCG? I appreciate everyone who is watching and listening and would greatly appreciate it if you smash that like button, subscribe to the Manatee Nation if you are new, and comment down below. Let me know whether or not you are going to be master setting Pokemon Go. Now, this is a question that I've been asking myself for weeks, and to help try and figure it out for myself, I've started off by taking the top three most expensive cards in the set, because this is where a lot of the value is going to be coming from, and we're starting off with the Mewtwo Alternate Art V. This is a big set from Mewtwo fans. We've got the Mewtwo Alternate Art, illustrated by N Design Inc., and is fetching a market price just under $70 right now, a week after release of $69.55. Now, price-wise, comparatively, this is comparative to, to the Umbreon Gold Star from the Celebration Special Set a week after release, so we could expect to see this card follow a similar pricing trend. Coming in at number two, I did say this is going to be a big one for the Mewtwo fans. We have the Rainbow Mewtwo V-Star, illustrated by Planeta Mochizuki, and market price just above $50 at $51.86. I was actually surprised to see this one at number two above number three. Speaking of which, we have gold Mewtwo V-Star, again illustrated by Planeta Mochizuki. And personally, I prefer golds over the rainbows. Let me know in the comments below which you prefer. Do you prefer the rainbows or do you do you prefer the golds? So I was personally surprised to see the Mewtwo V-Star gold second after the rainbow. And now we have market price $45 for this card, just under $50. So I'm surprised to see, though, as well, the top three cards of the set all under $100, technically all under $70 a week after release. So that means that's an indication that this isn't going to be an expensive set. But now, it's not all about the value. Let's talk about some of the fun artworks in the set. We have, of course, the Dragonite Collection. My favorite Pokemon shows up in a Rainbow V-Star, a Full Art V, and a V. There's also a regular V-Star as well. But these are my three favorites of the artworks. The, the V-Star is just the rainbow, you know, without the rainbow. Regular Dragonite colors. But a very, very fun card as well. Personally, I really like the Kawaii Full Art Dragonite V. But I also like that they chose to give the V-Star Rainbow a little bit more of an aggressive pose. So the different sides of Dragonite, my favorite Pokemon. And here you can see the market prices for all of these cards. $33.13 for the Rainbow V-Star, $7.89 for the Full Art, and $1.22 for the regular V. I actually love the regular V artwork for this card a lot, and if you slapped on a silver border for that, you know, I would believe you if you told me it was an alternate art. But it's not just all about the Dragon Boys, although I'd like it to be. There's also the Radiant Starters. We've got Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur all showing up this is a great mini subset of cards that you can collect within the set that is really really cool everybody loves the gen 1 starters and there's no surprise that the radiant charizard's fetching the highest price at 36 dollars 80 my personal favorite starter though is the blastoise at 14 dollars 7 but of these three artworks and this example of these three cards i actually like the radiant venusaur the best because of the flowers in the background coming in at 10 dollars 74 which of the three radiant designs do you like the best now in addition to the gen 1 starters we've also got rainbow trainers so i didn't originally include these trainers the representative of the different teams from pokemon go we've got valor mystic and instinct but as i was putting together i was like i already know valor fennec and the feisty fox is going to be commenting in the video letting me know otherwise if i didn't include the rainbow trainers so i gotta show the rainbow trainers some love for my boy valor Fennekin. And these are coming in all around the same price, $13.38 for Team Valor. We got $11.49 for Team Mystic and then Team or sorry for Team Mystic, yes, and then Team Instinct at $14.82 is taking the crown. So Team Instinct is taking the victory for the most expensive Rainbow Trainer. You can also get all of these cards in their full art artwork by opening up the sealed uh, pin collection boxes. So make sure you check out the channel. I'll be doing a pack battle against Albert Gladiator Collectibles very soon on the channel where I opened up Team Instinct wrapping the Manatee Nation. 
In addition to the rainbow trainers, we've also got peelable dittos. So this is the first time we've seen these. Spinarak reverse, Bidoof reverse, and we've got new Numel reverse. All of these peelable ditto cards do come in the reverse version in the English TCG. And these are the three different cards that can possibly be a ditto. What these peeled dittos work, you can grab the corner. You can also grab the top as well, but the corner, the bottom corner, it works the best. And you can peel off the reverse side, and it's actually a sticker, and underneath is going to be a hollow ditto. And I was surprised to learn, though, that if you keep these unpeeled, they actually fetch a nice price. The spinner rack comes in at number one, $8.11, $7.73 for the Bidoof, and $7.38 for the Numel. I was surprised to see that these actually had a nice price if you kept them unpeeled. And if we're talking in terms of the master set, I do think a master set of Pokemon Go should include all three of the different unpeeled dittos in it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with that in the comments. And then I also wanted to sh just show off some of my favorite artworks in the set because when you decide to master set a set or not, it's not just all about the value. And sometimes it's just because you really like the different artworks in the set. So one of my favorites, the common artwork, we've got the Slowbro. Actually, it's an uncommon there. You can see from the diamond in the bottom edge of the artwork uh, of the card there. We've got the alt art Conkledor V there getting ready to defend his title. Or maybe he's trying to win the belt there in a Pokemon stadium. You can see all the audience in the background. And and then we've got the Tyranitar V looking super metal, not looking at the explosion behind him. Shout out to Andy Samberg, any SNL fans in the chat. But I just really like all three of these artworks. They're not the most valuable cards. 10 cents for the Slowbro, 19 cents for the Tyranitar, $10.48 for the Conkledor. Not too much more expensive than a, you know, unpeeled reverse ditto there, but... Just thought I'd show off some of my favorite artworks in the set because there is a lot of unique artworks in this set which can make it worth collecting. In addition to master setting all of the singles cards, I actually think there's some sealed products that are worth holding on to if you've already ordered them. So we've got the Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs, and I might even make a separate video about these because these, re like, very well return on value across all the different sets since they've come out for the Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. I definitely recommend picking up Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs and keeping them sealed because MSRP $64.99, already market price $167. They routinely double in price pretty safely for each Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. And if the set is a really good one, like Evolving Skies, they can even sometimes quadruple in price. So keep an eye on these exclusives if you can, you know, battle past the on the Pokemon Center site to actually get your hands on one of these orders. In addition, though, to the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, because if you didn't already pre-order this one, you're probably not going to be able to get a, a copy of this at MSRP, but maybe you could still get a copy of the Radiant Eevee collection box. This MSRP is at $49.99. It is sold out right now in the Pokemon Center, but I have been seeing them locally stocked, stocked at Target and Walmarts and Barnes & Noble. So market price, it's already going up a little bit above MSRP, and it could continue to, because one of the things that makes this product really cool is that there's actually an EV playmat inside which is a really unique accessory and then there's also codes that you can use to get shiny eevees and pokemon go which also has crossover value for the pokemon get a go for this product so I, I think this is a really good product. I also think it looks incredible on display. So if you're going to keep one of the boxes of these uh, special collection boxes from pokemon go sealed my recommendation would be the radiant eevee collection box. Now, in conclusion, the main points for this set, whether we're talking about master setting it or not, is the first thing, the top three cards in the set are all under $100. A week after release, they're all already under $70. And I think that means if you're interested in buying this set to flip it, you're not, this, this is not the set for you. This is not going to be a financial investment. But if you want to collect a full master set and say you own a master set and do it under a budget, I think that this could be a great set for you because all of the three biggest cards, the Mewtwo's are all under 70 bucks already. And I expect them to go down even more. Now, we also have the Dragon Boys, so maybe you're just a big fan of Dragonite like I am, and you could even just go and collect just the Dragonites, but the fact that this set has got Mewtwo and Dragonite loving it, and a lot of different artworks for both of these cards, is already making me want to master set it. But on top of that, we've got the Radiant Starters, which are super cool, super unique, shiny versions of the uh, Gen 1 starter Pokemon. I really like the designs of all three of these cards, and so I think they're going to 
look great in a binder together along with the dragon boys and the mewtwo's and i feel like if i'm already collecting all of those cards i might as well go for the peelable dittos the first time we've ever seen something like this in the pokemon go tcg what other kind of peelable cards would you like to go see in the pokemon maybe i should make a whole video about that maybe some eevees that you can peel them into see evolutions maybe a tyrogue that can peel into a hitmon top or a hitmon chan hitmon lee let me know if you have any comments any ideas for peelable cards in the future but i just think because of all of these things and the unique artworks that i personally am going to master set pokemon go if I can get lucky on my first wave of openings. I've already got the gold Mewtwo V-Star. If I can snag the rainbow and the alternate art, then I'm going to master set the set. If I can't snag those two other cards that I'm missing from the top three, then I'm going to pass on the set. So I'm kind of going to let fate and luck decide for me. If we can get all the top three, then I think the rest will be worth picking up as singles for under a cheap budget. That's my opinion on Pokemon Go Master Setting. Let me know if you agree or disagree or what you're planning on doing for the set. Of course, I always like to show my sources at the, as well. At the end of all of these PowerPoints, we've got Poke Collector, which I use for the card images, TCG Player, which I use for all of the market prices, and I like to end all of these with a guess that Pokemon. So it was one of my favorite artworks that I showed off in the set. We've got the Slow Bro. Shout out to Ryan Miller, Cardboard Holocron, who's a big fan of the Slow Pokes, the Slow Bros, and the Slow Kings. Maybe one day we'll see a Slow Queen. Let me know if you think we'll see that. And I hope you all have a, a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you the next time I go live and I can say hello, hello to you all. Until then, peace out, everyone. Let's go. Peace.